Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today we are in Acts chapter 13, looking at verses 1 through 12. Let's start with prayer. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these students, Lord. I just pray that you would bless them. Um, bless our time in the word, Lord. Help us to learn and grow and become more and more like you each day. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Okay. Acts chapter 13, verses 1 through 12. Starting at verse 1. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simon called Niger, L Lucius of Cyrene, Manan, who had been brought up with Her Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. Sorry if I butchered any of those names. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. The next section is titled, On Cyprus. The two of them, on their way by the, the two of them, on their way by the Holy Spirit, went down to Cilicia and sailed from there to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salmis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. John was with them as their helper. They traveled through the whole island until they came to Paphias. There they met a Jewish sorcerer and false prophet named Bar-Jesus who was an attendant of the counselor Sir Sergius Paul Paulus. The proconsular, an intelligent man, sent for Barnabas and Saul because he wanted to hear the word of God. But Elymas, the sorcerer, for that is what his name means, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsular pro proconsular from the faith. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Elymas and said, You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? Now the hand of the Lord is against you. You are going to be blind for a time, not even able to see the light of the sun. Immediately mist and darkness came over him, and he groped about, seeking someone to lead him by the hand. When the proconsular saw what had happened, he believed, for he was amazed at the teaching about the Lord. Okay. So. Um, so there's all these people that are listed. Um, you know, important teachers and prophets 
and um, there's some false teachers and there's some people that are like trying to figure things out. But while these spiritual leaders were worshiping and fasting, the Holy Spirit told them to set apart Barnabas and Saul for the work that they were being called to. So they fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them and sent them off to Cyprus. Um, when they arrived where they were going, they proclaimed the word of the Lord in the synagogue. You know, at this time there wasn't like churches and things, so they went to where, what they knew. They went to the Jewish synagogues. And John was there to help them. They traveled through the whole island until they came to pa Paphos. There they met a Jewish um, sorcerer and false prophet, prophet named Bar-Jesus. And he was the attendant of a pro-counselor. I'm not going to even try to pronounce his name. Um, the pro-counselor wanted to hear more. He was interested, but his helper was trying to stop it, trying to discourage him, um, trying to oppose the faith and trying to get his um, master not to listen. And because this helper was trying to stop what the Holy Spirit was doing, Paul said, fine, you know, you're, you're trying to stop what God, what God is doing. Um, you are going to become blind because of it. And he was, he was turned blind. And then, you know, he's groping around and trying to find somebody to help him. When this had happened, the pro-counselor, he believed. He was amazed at the teaching, he was amazed at what happened, and he believed. I, I think it's interesting um, that, you know, God uses things to get our attention. If we choose to not believe, if we choose to, you know, try to convince others to stray, God will use what he needs to use to get our attention and to get his point um, across. He did that for Paul, and now he's doing this to this um, servant, and yeah, so it's, it's important that we listen, it's important that we obey, and it's important that we don't stand in the way of others that want to know, that want to hear, um, because we, who are we to say who God is going to use? Um, to bring them to the Lord. So that is Acts chapter 13 verses 1 through 12. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. God bless.